Welcome to Sam Ministries Transitional Living and Learning Center. This is the dining hall, the heart of this facility. Although empty right now, every afternoon around 4 p.m., this place is hustling and bustling. Kiddos coming in for an after-school snack, parents starting to help them with homework, and working together to prepare nutritious meals. This facility has been owned and operated and serving families in San Antonio for more than 20 years. While built in the 1960s, we've only seen cosmetic improvements to the space that looks and feels almost institutional. Note the lack of lighting and the poor window treatments. We have so much potential in this space and we really want to make it the heart of this home. It's a lot of bright, beautiful staff and residents here and this room doesn't match. The ladies that stay here, we can have get togethers, you know, motivational parties and enjoy each other and uplift each other. But, you know, it's kind of hard right now because no one want to be in here because of the darkness and it's not much positive energy going on. And when you come here, you get a lot of love, attention. They help you become more independent. Like just because you went through something doesn't mean that's, that's your destination. And if you in a place that makes you feel like you can get it, then it's easier to accomplish versus, well, I'm trying, but I don't, you know, I don't get the positive energy that I would like or I feel I want. So I don't want people to still be depressed and be hurt. I want them to feel like they can come out of anything they go through. A happy space do help you feel good inside. And when the kids see that you feel good, then they'll want to be happy and feel good with you, you know? It's important because we get to bond, communicate, laugh, cook together. I get to hear about their day at school and they get to hear about my day. Our Transforming the Heart of Home project will upgrade and renovate our dining and kitchen spaces here at the Transitional Living and Learning Center. Understanding that the adults and children residing at the TLLC have experienced long-term complex trauma that many times includes abuse and neglect and domestic violence, this project has been built through a lens of trauma-informed care. From floor to ceiling and everything in between, all paint colors and materials used in this renovation will be specifically selected to create an inviting space that is calming and comforting. Renovating the kitchen and dining room with these important changes will encourage families to spend more time together, to prepare meals together, and to learn about nutrition and health and wellness. Beyond daily meals, the renovated dining space will also be used as a multi-purpose room for support group meetings, life skills classes, and social activities such as playing board games or doing puzzles. This is where we spend most of our time. Here in the dining area, it, the colors were not bright or colorful. It was always kind of dull, kind of gray. So I think if we would have visibility from dining room to kitchen, kitchen dining room, that would be a, a tremendous just step up, upgrade, however you want to see it, of families that have younger children and we can't leave them unattended here in the dining room while we're cooking. So how are we going to be cooking and unattending our children? Just having that visibility of, oh, I can see oh, someone, so, oh, she started crying, turn off this, let me go to check on her, how's she doing? And then come back and continue cooking. So to have eye on our children while we're cooking is going to be a big plus. Arriving here at Sam Ministries was a horrendous blow to my ego as a mom and a guilt trip that Sometimes I still carry to this day, but I started to let go of, why did I walk my kids through this? It didn't matter your background, your academic, professional. We're all here for a reason. We need help. As hard as it was, you know, we completed our two years here, got into my own apartment, completed my associate's degree. Um, I started seeing a little bit more light at the end of the tunnel. Now I am licensed professional counselor. You've seen the stories, you've heard the impact of this facility, of this program on families. We've been a resource to nearly 850 families over the last 20 plus years. And with the help of Impact San Antonio, we can continue to be a resource for 900 families, 2,000 children for the next 20 years. Thank you so much for this incredible opportunity.